personality as well mm -hmm. and what, what you like to do. But um, aside from that question, um, how does it feel transitioning from like basic training to AIT? Like how do you feel oh about this? Oh my God, space? complete culture shock. Yeah. Um, I went from seeing- um, No females. No females to suddenly just being like surrounded by them, uh -huh. not knowing exactly what, what these creatures are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, creatures forgot. Right? Yeah, those yeah. Like these creatures called humans. But we went from escaping campaign hats, um, not this, it's a boonie hat, but you know, they just look similar. Enough. We went from campaign hats to pistol belts, which is what the platoon sergeants wear here. You go from drill sergeants to platoon sergeants. They're definitely a lot more relaxed. Uh, having a conversation with a platoon sergeant, I was so stiff and I was used to the talking to a drill sergeant, you know, yeah. being so robot-like. Yeah. They told me I was taking it too serious and told me to lighten up. And I was like, what the hell? What did you just say to me? Yeah, like, like, yeah. like for the first sergeant. week, we wanted to go back to basic training. They, yeah, they Because it was so different here. We didn't like mm -hmm. it. We wanted to go back to basic training. I was told yeah. when I first got here by a sergeant in one of the check-in buildings that I was taking this too serious. I was picked up by Sergeant Fall, and he was an ass. I was Sergeant Fall. I mean, he's It's over. I have to say, he was it's an ass. Over. He's kind of cool. But he's cool. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. He's cool. Yeah. All right, Warriors. Yeah. There's a lot of You cool. got 10 seconds to pick up your bags. Figure yeah. it out. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. but, but in the Army and anywhere you go, you're going to find a lot of cool assholes. It's definitely yeah. about how all about how you handle it and don't let anything really get to your head and stick because that's only how you build anger for that person you don't want to build anger for anyone you never want to hold a grudge in the army because at the end of the day you're all under one flag in one nation true true one force one fight yes and so that, i mean not even just in the army just in the civilian world too never hold a grudge because you're only going to burn yourself with that <sighs> but definitely true. culture shock coming from Basic training to AIT. It uh, still is too. There's still a lot of things that are weird. Especially the the, like, the the corrective training. Like smoke sessions. We can definitely go smoke into smoke session. The uh, phase system definitely is a huge change because you go from dealing with basic trainings, red phase, white phase, and blue phase to numbers. You start off at phase four. You go into phase five, which is like this yellow badge here. And I almost forgot I was in the army because when you become phase five, you're allowed civilian to wear clothes. civilian clothes. Yeah. And, and at first, when you first hear that, you're like. It's not a big deal. I wear clothes all the time, but you're only wearing this or your army uniform. I will be greens. fancy today. Yeah, yeah, so if you want to be fancy, be fancy. You get to dress but nice. Also, don't forget you're still in the army. <laughs> you yeah. still have to hold your Posse mouth. 19. Um, how many times have you guys got pulled over by like sergeants outside while, while you guys are walking because you forgot that you, you're still a soldier in a civilian club? Well, it, didn't have, it only happened, happened once, and that was at the. <laughs> We almost got murdered. Yeah, I almost, I almost got <laughs> murdered on Friday. We, have, um, we both had uh, tank tops on. Yeah, we had tank tops on. on. <laughs> we both had tank tops on, and we were in an improper yeah. battle buddy format, apparently. Oh, okay. That's part of the reason why they got stopped, because yep. of the improper. Yeah. And so three I platoon sergeants stopped. came up and started ripping us apart, and then the first sergeant came up and started ripping us apart yep. and told us to leave. They and kicked us out like, of the festival. I know. <laughs> they kicked us out. They kicked us away from the festival. With? Anyways. Um, it, was, it was originally me, Woods, and another and a female battle buddy. Okay. And me and we were all walking. Woods had to go throw away some trash. So I guess he like, you know, kind of jogged the trash can. And me and the female were just walking. You know, I'm on my phone. Talking. Like, I'm walking back and I had like a half-eaten like or yeah. fried Oreo and still he, in my hand. Getting murdered, right? Enjoying my day. <laughs> and I, and, and I just hear, hey, Soldier. Your friends were over here. I was like, what? I turned yes. around and they looked like they're in custody. Yeah, it was like, really it looked bad. like they were in custody. I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? And this was actually a moment where I forgot I was in the army because I'm walking and I, I hear somebody say, hey soldier, is that a proper battle team? And I look over and I'm just kind of like, whatever. So I kind of turn and start walking some more. And then I realized, oh my God, what did I just do? So I stopped, <laughs> immediately went to parade rest. One platoon sergeant comes right here, another right here, and another right here. All looking at me, not her. She's yeah, not the focus. Lies. Me, apparently, because I'm the male. I was the wrong one. I was like, this is not yeah. fair. And, Yo, and then about this time is when I come up and immediately get a parade rest. And then the first up. sergeant just comes out of nowhere. Just, yep. out, like He's just hiding in the bush or something. And he just comes out. I guess he dragged the first sergeant with him. And things got worse because the first sergeant was like the main one, like ripping into us about yes. everything we're doing wrong. And then I didn't know tank tops weren't allowed. I didn't know. People wear tank tops all the time. The, yeah, I, I know. was wearing one yesterday. I was know. People wake like, it all day I without just, getting stopped. Yeah, and then like that one time, they, they, they scream at us about our tank tops. And then he's just like, you know what? 
get out of here. Yeah, so we got kids. Out I, was like, I was like, I'm gonna go change for a start. He's like, you're damn right, you're gonna go oh, change. Like you had a choice. That's what he said. <laughs> like you had a choice. <laughs> choice. And then he, he just sent us out of here. Honestly, I've been wearing tank tops the whole entire time I was phase five. Yeah, yeah. I, I was wondering. I, 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 I stopped going wearing them all the time, so I was like, I guess I'm safe. And then like I got back and like and then the, the potato starter was like, how'd you get? He's like, he's like, he's like, give me your phase badge. How'd you get outside with that? I was like, I went by you twice. Mm-hmm. And he was, it was starting seems at the time. He's yeah. just like, she was cool. He was like, all right, whatever. But, Get out of here. Yeah, and then they got on me about that right afterwards. Like, because um, <laughs> I was walking past, and Sergeant Johnson was like, um, and just like scanning me up and down. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, I already got yelled at, Sergeant. <laughs> I already got yelled at. <laughs> and then she just started laughing, and I just ran up the stairs. It was, it was funny, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Apparently, tank tops are a no-go here um, in civilians. I don't know why. When I'm camouflaged. They don't care. He's, he's invisible. He can walk past 13 captains and, and a colonel. <laughs> and that, that should be an EO. Hey, he's yeah. Asian. Why, why is he wearing I'm half tops? Asian. Really? Yes. Interesting. I'm half Asian. I think it's EO still. It's EO still. It's EO still. Still still EO. Fuck. But how how do you guys like your classes so far? Oh man. Um, Do you guys understand the concept? Um, Do you think that um, or do you guys make study group if you guys don't understand any sections from like you know? Well, like I mean, classes. Right now, we've only been through IET, which is hardware, and we're currently in software. These are like the two easiest things anyone has ever done. I mean, yeah, there's going to be a few people who can't pick it up because the pace here is extremely fast. It's yeah. definitely not like any school or college. You can't really compare it to college because it's a 19 week course crammed up that is equivalent to a four year degree. It exactly. basically like, it basically like flip the top of your head open and then shove a giant book inside and then put yep. it close. You can't expect to actually really. Like, like they, they probably have this these syringes like learn this learn mm-hmm. this with different like, chapters in each syringe they just want you chapters. to understand like the basis of your mm-hmm. job but like the real like learning is when you get to your first duty well when I, like when active people get to their first duty station they start yes. doing on the job training and I'm a reservist I'll yeah. only be doing this once a weekend every month going back to DC and I'm, I'm going to Korea right I believe there's like a I keep I'm... hey I need to ask I need, like real serious shit I no for real like being real serious, I need I'm like my girl, she's about to break open because she think I talked to Friar Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're on YouTube right now, bro. <laughs> oh, we can cut this. <laughs> hey nah, hold up. What's up? Hey, do I talk to anybody? No. Do I talk to anybody? No. Do I talk to anybody? No, you don't. Exactly. I got a girl, right? Yes. yes. I've been knowing that you have a girl. Know that you have a girl. Basic training. Yeah. Ten weeks th- 13, 14 weeks ago. I, Thank I've you. Been knowing I already know I was talking to that one. Moving forward. All right. That is the second time I got interrupted, but that's all good. I'm not going <laughs> to cut that because that is some funny shit. Right <laughs> yeah. Being exposed. Oh, gosh. Uh, cheating. Exposed. Right. Exposure. Exposure. There's a, yeah, our, our fucking student master is weird as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to have some serious intellect to understand this guy because he's just... You're going to have a lot of people that are taking a lot of this too serious, and then you're going to have a lot of people that aren't taking it serious at all. You're going to have to learn to find your gray area, and I feel like that's the safe zone. That's me. I mean, I have a gray area. I mean, sometimes you'll see me like joking around and fucking off a lot, but then I have my very serious times where I know when to be serious. It's almost like knowing your time and place for what you do and what you say. It's like the drill sergeant told us, you got to know when to work, and when, when it's time to work, and it's when to play. When, when it's time to play. And like they say, you know, in the Army... We know how to play hard, but we also work hard as shit. So it's like, mm-hmm. and it's like they don't really, they don't ask for that much. Like they don't ask for that much here as far as formations when you're in phase five. Like you go in, you shut up, and it's done in five or ten minutes. But people can't understand that. Yeah, but you got the people that it is what it is. Don't get it. Blue Falcons. Oh, yeah. Blue Falcons. <laughs> Easiest fucking. Team. It is what it is. Yeah. Blue Falcons or buddy fuckers. I mean, I'm not too mad about it. It's just an extra ten minutes standing outside. Yeah. The first thing that popped in my head when I hear Blue Falcons is like Joe Sargent yelling, Oh, you want to play fuck fuck games? I don't know. The first thing that popped in my head when I first heard Blue Falcon was Marshall. Falco, was Falco from like Star Fox. Oh, okay. Hell it was no. immediately his face. I was just like, I, I, I mentioned, <laughs> I, I mentioned <laughs> that to the Joe Sargent Megan, a half right face. Half right face, front wing, rest position, move. You're going to hear that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot what I was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> so nasty. Fucking horrible. Yeah, so, um, what drove you to becoming a 25 Bravo? Like, what what sparked your, you know, yourself to become a 25 Bravo? Well, um, for me, it was easy because I live 
in, I live just on the outskirts of DC, Washington DC. And out there, IT is always booming. There's never a slow time of the year for IT jobs. If you have the certs, you now have a good job where you can get your place, get your car, and possibly take care of a family if you have one to take care of. True. But yeah, so pretty much the future advancement and where I can get myself in the civilian world because I'm a reservist. You know, I'm the army. I'm not gonna be army full time. I'm army once a weekend a month. They call us weekend warriors, or. You know, couch soldiers. <laughs> couch soldiers. Fort couch. Yeah, fort couch. That's right. That's my duty station. So, and so yeah. I need to be able to succeed in the civilian world since I'm not army full time, and this is the perfect MOS for that. Honestly, uh, it's pretty much the same for me. Actually, I mean, I'm I'm, I'm active. I do want to make this career, but also, you know, I'm a realist, so I know I'll probably only stay in 20 years. Uh -huh. So this aligns basically 25 Bravo aligns perfectly with what I want to do outside. Which is IT. Because yeah. I love computers, I love working with computers. And even now that I'm having like the very fiber of computers weaved into my soul cool. by the army, cool. <laughs> um, I still like them. So it's like there's probably something there about that job. But right. enjoy. Final question um, Have you guys lost your military bearings yet since you came here to AIT? Um, not lost, but I would definitely say it went from here to here. This is this is lost. I probably I met my middle ground and I met my middle ground my my safe area to where I know okay if I do this I'm a complete shit bag now. But if I do this I still have good military bearing. Yeah. But I found my gray area and I feel like it's kind of hard to get out of that spot because it's either you're a shit bag or you're not. You don't want to be a shit bag because they tend to be hated and looked down upon. Yep. And you don't want to be too serious because same case. Yeah. Yeah, we look down upon and people are going to be like, okay, relax. Which is we're really still, hard. We're still training. To not be too <laughs> serious and be a PG at the mm -hmm. same time. That's the hardest so, shit for me to battle. Oh, yeah. Find your gray area. PG, squad leader. <laughs> and... But yeah, my military bearing... My military bearing definitely... I'm not for that. My military bearing definitely isn't like... It's not like really far down, but I definitely like... It's not the same as before. Like, there's, there's some times where just integrity just gets thrown out the window. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But no, it definitely doesn't get thrown up. Integrity? Because no, I want some integrity. Here, it, it's only ever got me fucked over. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they like, I'm saving my integrity for the real army. Yeah, they say, not for AIT. The real army. They say, every time they say they respect your integrity, it they doesn't change. Did. It doesn't change shit. It doesn't change the punishment that you're about to receive. If it's you, not just you, but the whole company. It's yeah. Yeah, if you give integrity, it doesn't save you. Integrity only means they know who to punish now. That's all that is. <laughs> but it, it won't save you. Integrity won't save you here. But in the real army, I'm pretty sure it has a, it, it weight. In the lot. real army, integrity is going to get you exactly what you deserve. Yeah, integrity is, it, integrity actually has weight in the real army. Here, integrity is a word. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mere phrase. Here in the IT, they're just playing army. Uh, where's your integrity, private? They're going to say that to get you to <laughs> own up to what you did, so they could punish you. They're going to get you. To, they're going to want you to snitch on your battle buddies. Yep, they're going to. They're going to. There's a lot of snitch here. Do okay. not snitch on they're your battle gonna, buddies. Slowly going to slowly going to create blue falcons without even realizing it. Even if you snitch, your platoon sergeant is going to be like, how come you're not squaring your battle buddies away? Yep, so and then you're going to be at fault for that. So and I've actually seen that happen plenty of times. You lot. just stay together, and it's going to suck, but you'll learn, to work. you'll learn to be a team. Yeah, you'll learn to be a team even with the people you don't like. And yes, and the same will, goes for basic will, and AIT. I can't speak for the real army be. because I haven't been there yet, but the same, the same works for basic training, especially basic training. We got like 12 weeks left before graduation. Hell yeah. Oh, stop. That's so far. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't count. Oh, man, that sucks. I hate it because freaking there's a guy who's who's on this this side of the barracks who just yep. every morning, oh, yeah, so-and-so days left. He'll announce the number. I know. Yeah, yeah, that's how we, I was like, I do not count yeah, by days. Announce, announce the days, the minutes, the hours, the seconds. <laughs> I know. It makes it go by so slow. I'm like. Except for this four days. Four days went by too quick. It was yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. Four days off went by in like just a day. Like, First, it, like it went by, like I was getting yelled at by the platoon sergeants yeah. at the festival. And now All I remember was getting drenched from the rain this Friday. Oh, that was disgusting! I remember. I remember. Yeah. Then I, we had to chase the. Socks and shit. I had to chase the freaking um the guide on running through the mud. It got all over my legs. It was the, it was the worst <laughs> thing ever. It was good. Yeah, it was nasty. Anyways, thirty minutes. That w is way over the time, but I'm gonna have to cut it up. I gotta fix it after this yeah, 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 yeah. anyways yep that is the segment for today 
and hope everyone who is going to join the army joins. Don't be a shitbag. Yeah, joins and doesn't be a shitbag. Do the right thing, be in the right place in the right uniform, right time. I mean, you're oh. gonna think you fucked up when you first got here, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It'll get better. Peace!